Even the Vikings are 0-2 to start the season. There still have been plenty of bright spots this season. Pete Bursich, Viking analyst, here to show you some of them. And defensively, you talked about how they were able to slow Philadelphia down through the air. The ground game a little different, but that you said felt more of the second wearing half. them down, the right? Half, Just yeah. you're out there all day. Um, they didn't have the conditioning that you used to have back in your days as we'll go linebacker. With that. We'll go with that. We'll I think so. That. You look it up. The sky was <laughs> unbelievable. <laughs> Iron lung, they we'll used go to call that. them. <laughs> <laughs> all right, this is a play that fooled the quarterback here. What think, happened? Well, I think it was. It, it's a couple things here just for for Viking fans to notice is that. Right, you you you're getting, you always have more. It seems like not all, not every play, but it, right. you're seeing a lot of guys at the line of scrimmage, right? So they're yep. doing that for a, for a number of different reasons, mainly to to get these offensive linemen just a just a little bit off in their timing. They don't know exactly who they have. It's an if then but kind of thing, just to slow them down a little bit. But the other thing that's interesting here too is you see one, two, three, four, five DBs, but there's a sixth one right here, Theo Jackson. Right, so this is this is uh, you know what we call uh, dime, and we okay. never we never really played a lot of dime. We kept six safeties. Well, there's a reason because right now you have at least you have three of them on the field, right? You have one, two, three safeties on the field right now. He was filling in for Metellus for a little while when Metellus think got, right. got his bell rung yep. or whatever. So those just a couple things that are different from what we saw a year ago on defense. Now this is a great job. By Theo Jackson, and what you have to remember is he's playing a linebacker position. He's taking a linebacker drop. Okay. He's a safety, so he's going to be more athletic at what he does. And when we see the end zone view of this, you get a really, you get a really good idea of of what happens and what he does. Because in this case, he's just dropping into a, into a hook, and it looks like they're playing some type of quarters because the safety's able to drive on it. But when you see it in the from the end zone, that was a great hit by Harrison Smith. He's walked up right here, but look at the amount of ground that he covers, right? Once the ball snapped, go ahead. Yes. You know, one, once the ball snapped, he's looking out, and then he sees that just right there. You've got a go route, and then you have somebody coming underneath him. So it's a go and then a dig. Now, it's a great job by Bynum right here to drive that, to drive that dig route. Okay. You don't normally see linebackers get 15, 20 uh, yards no. deep. <laughs> no. Right? These guys, you know, you're, 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 us you know, bigger guys, you know, we can maybe get to here. <laughs> But because he's a DB, he was a, you know, able to cover all that ground and, and get himself back inside and then get right where he needed to be to intercept his football. So it would have been an interception, I think, one way or the other. But I don't, I don't think he ex – he definitely did not expect the hook defender to get under that, that drive route. Right. And my favorite part, you kind of mentioned it, or but dig after answer. the pick is right there. <laughs> <laughs> that is the best. How much was he waiting for an opportunity like that? Well, yeah, and that, that's, that's, yeah, as a defender, that's what you dream about, right? You just get, get the opportunity to go take somebody, you know, take somebody's head off. You know what I mean? And it's not, it's not, a, it's not, a, and nowadays you can't blindside. And right, people, they know, take away a lot of that we used Chris Walsh's favorite play. So, exactly. So, for him to, you know, get a little pop in there and knock him down, that's great. It's great to see. It's, it's, that's the attitude on defense, right? That's what you want to have. All right, this is the Vikings here now. They're on offense, Kirk Cousins, and they come up with a touchdown here to Jordan Addison. Two touchdowns in two games for the youngster. Yeah, and this is a play uh, designed, and I don't know if they had to throw this screen or if this was just an option and, you know, how, how, they, how they set it up. But what they're doing is they're, they're making it look like you're getting a screen over here. Right, you get the receivers down, and then you get one to curl up. They're trying to get all they're trying to get all this underneath coverage to to, to draw to over, to drift over. But it's what happens with this free safety. That's what matters. And what happens is, is once Kirk gets to the top of his drop, you're going to see him. He'll look, and then he pump fakes. See that pump fake? Yep. Now wait till we get to the end zone. When you when you get to the end zone side, you're really going to see what the effect that that had on the Philadelphia defense. So. Right here, you see this free safety. He was standing right about there, but see how far he went over? Yep, because he, he, he thought, thought it was, it was a screen. Yep. He thought it was going to go that way. That leaves Jordan Addison one-on-one -on -one with a corner who's outside shade, so this whole middle of the field's wide open, a little bit underthrown, so he kept his feet to score the touchdown. But it was the design. It was the execution of the pump fake. It got this safety to just absolutely clear out <laughs> this part. You know, he's way over here. 
So that leaves this athlete one on one with a corner who's outside shade. That means this whole, you know, this whole post is, is wide open. So that's what Kurt sees right here. Correct. Right? He sees the movement and he knows he just can drop right. it Correct. out here. Kirk knows. Because I, it wasn't a goes, pinpoint pass. Well, Kirk knows I have to throw this football right here somewhere because it's away from here. So wait, you know, you don't want to, he, he's, he's outside shade. So let the receiver just run to the ball. And he knows with this free safety hull and rear end to get over here. Right, because. That this part of the field is going to be open. Because you do have a free runner here as well. Well. Because it, he's got some real estate as he well. He might be able, you know, he might be able to squeeze that in there, but that's going to be a big, you know, big throw, big hit, whatever. But, you know, why go for that when you have this, this <laughs> matchup, right, in, the, in, this, in this scenario. And then watch that safety go. He throws that football right there right where he knew to throw it. All right, now this next one was a touchdown that a lot of people were stunned that K.J. Osborne was as open as he was because the Vikings didn't send a lot of guys out. I think there's only two that actually come out. They went with max protection here, yep. but you see what they do out of this, and somehow uh, K.J. has left all alone. Right. There's a there's an absolute miscommunication. This is what I was talking about earlier when you're looking at this is Job here. You know, so Darius Slay is in. Job is really this. He's not normally a starter. Okay. At, you know, okay. So you have a backup. I mean, they may have had. Now they have a safety in here too. But these three guys are all backups for them. So the communication problem is an issue. And what happens is you take Jefferson and run him here, and you're just taking KJ and running him this way. But watch the difference between the way Job plays it and the way Slay plays it, because Slay will chase, and he's passing him off. That's what defenses do. Sometimes on crossing routes, you pass them off. Sometimes on crossing routes, you stay with them. Well, these two guys aren't on the same page, and then what ends up happening is you end up getting a touchdown. And you'll see another great, great shot of this in the end zone. The protection holds up just enough. And you don't see a lot of guys in the NFL that wide open. But you'll see the difference between what this corner does and what this corner does because once they start running, Slay is coming across here. Job just let him go, and he's expecting, they're just expecting him to pass this thing off, and that's not what happens. See, Job's sitting here on J. They have three guys, four <laughs> guys standing around J.J., and then he's wide open. So, you know, that's, I think that's good game plan and, and you know, and, and actually, you know, great execution as well because you know what types of coverages they favor in certain areas of the field and they know that they're going to play a lot of man-to-man -man here, then this is the perfect route to run. Right. And it worked out real well. Job didn't, you know, thought they were passing it off. Slay didn't. And then that's how that guy gets wide open. So how much is that? That's 18 over there. Pay attention. This is where 18 uh, does his yeah. damage. Is that something that the Vikings can look at in their playbook and go, you know what? They're all going to be looking at him. If we can run traffic and get him... They're all thinking this. We right. could slip somebody out. Well, that's well, that's why on the screen and the pump fake that was Addison running the go route and not JJ, because had that been JJ on that See, go route, that is then that corner, I'm, I guarantee that safety wouldn't have been hauling rear end to get to the <laughs> three receiver side. Right. He just said, "I'm I'm just going to stay over here and cover one eight. So, See? yeah, happens a lot. That's why you're the analyst. Well, See, you spot those things. I did not. Sorry, right. we're get, well, you're getting there. I know. You're getting there. All right. Uh